Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Infinito the 2. So welcome to episode 16 of the new updated series. I'm gonna, gonna show you on a brand new account, starting from zero and going all the way to max endless. Without using a double gain, without using premium or any external help like watching ads and so forth. Uh, and also sharing with you guys all the tips and all the best strategies in order to progress as quickly and as efficiently as uh, possible. Now my total uh, game time is 46 hours and 42 minutes. Uh, I have already reset my quest two times and therefore after you do that that's when you start doing 6.3 FAK strategy over and over uh, again. It's just the fastest and the um, easiest way to progress through. I'm gonna show you here pretty quickly my research uh, and then I'm gonna jump to today's video and today I, I wanted to show you uh, how to generate a lot of green papers a very a trick and an easy way to generate green papers and also how to sell cast maps how to use crafting to sell cast maps for more uh, value and therefore to obtain more tickets now my endless mode difficulty is level 10 uh, thankfully I, I've been able to obtain a lot of these legendary blueprints from the uh, my runs of 6.3 so yeah that uh, has allowed me to get a lot of these levels and also I've got two research tickets from the lucky wheel just remember guys that the very last uh, level so to get it from level 14 to 15 it's a ton of resources so always save up at least one research ticket for the very last uh, upgrade here my low frequency low variety are level 5 and level 3 respectively so yeah, slowly getting them up. Remember to keep a 2-1 ratio. So you wanna have your loop frequency to be double the amount of variety. So uh, in this case, 6-3, then 8-4, 10-5, and so forth. Uh, then looking at other important stats, uh, I have max here the additional 25% variety that you can get up here. So again, that's uh, very nice. Uh, my mining speed for the modifier is level 22, and my infant mining speed is level 20. And again, you wanna try to level these uh, two uh, together. It's gonna be pretty important. Uh, and that's it, because I haven't really got any additional research and that's gonna be the most important research for the actual gameplay on 6.3 FAK. My journal stats look like this. Uh, so just talking about the offensive stats, damage level 10, range level 10, experience multiplier level nine, attacks level nine. Uh, I got certain coins level 20. So that's the maximum from uh, normal research. Uh, Predictive speed level five, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And then uh, lastly, my splash. I have upgraded a little bit, but still it's not even maxed uh, in terms of normal research. So everything here, offensive stats is level nine. Um, then I got experience here level seven and upgrade level level uh, six. And I got also some additional levels here for the abilities to make the abilities uh, a little bit stronger. But yeah, you can see that my splash is not maxed and yeah, it's not needed. So that's a very good uh, thing. Despite the fact that I'm playing here already at 650% difficulty, um, this this research is enough to, for me to destroy all the enemies and to get all the uh, loot. Now, that being said, uh, right now I'm going to show you a method on how to join a lot of green papers and then how to use crafting very efficiently to uh, sell maps for more value. Now again, in order to do this process and to be as efficient as possible, you're gonna have this upgrade here maxed. You're gonna need, uh, yeah, unfortunately here I can show you, but you're gonna need uh, uh, a lot of pretty decent amount of green papers, but then especially the legendary uh, special blueprints. So that's gonna be the hardest thing to obtain. But then as you start playing 613 FAK, I think it becomes a lot easier to get those uh, blueprints. And so it becomes easier to max this one. And uh, now, how to obtain a lot of green papers uh, very quickly, very efficiently, and uh, just a trick. Now the trick is involves using this blueprint chest. You can see that you can use directly, the only resource needed to craft this blueprint chest is the epic blueprint. Now, I'm gonna just uh, make you uh, understand this. If you sell here, if I sell 50 of these tickets, see the value, I would get 325,000 green papers. All right. Now, instead, watch what happens. If you uh, if you craft again, you use 50 
of these blueprints, but you craft the blueprint chest instead, and then you open all the 50 uh, chests at once, you're gonna get roughly around 2300 uh, of these blueprints. And then if you sell these blueprints, just watch if I sell one of them. If I sell one, I get three here, right? I have common, I have agility, I have experience, and then I have power. If I sell just one of them for, tw I, I sell 2300 of these ones, see here, the green papers I gain, 690,000. Now this means that I'm earning more than double the amount of green papers from just one of these three. Therefore, if you consider all three of them, so if I sell 2300 of this one, then 2300 of this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't get it done. Here we go. And then this one as well. The total amount of green papers I was able to earn, it's more than 2 million. Um, and uh, compared to the 325,000 I would get from just directly selling the special blueprints. So you can see how this is insanely more efficient. It's like almost seven times more efficient. And this is a trick. Uh, and you can even craft more. So you can use, in this case, some green papers and some of the very rare special blueprints to craft more of these um, epic special blueprints. And then you can use those to craft uh, the uh, blueprint chest. Then you open them up, remember, and then you sell the blueprints. And yeah, that's how to generate a ton of green papers. Now, second thing is how to use your green papers and how to sell your caps and maps with crafting for more value. Um, and this involves especially crafting the platforms. So now you can decide to craft all platforms. Remember the platforms are listed in their value. So if I go, uh, let me quickly here open up as well some of these um, legendary tasks that I got. So hopefully I can get one of each kind. Um, the platforms are gonna give you more value depending on which one. So if you go for power, so the power five tile is gonna give you a 305 map price. The upgrade price is gonna give you 298. So you can see this slightly lower. See, it's seven map price less for each. Then attack speed is gonna be 290. So it's even lower. Uh, damage 283, range 276, and so forth. So the lower you go, the lower value they get. So at last, it's the sell refund is only 240 map price. So in total, there is a difference of 65 map price between like power and um, sell refund. And therefore, because of this, um, I just recommend you when you're crafting to craft, especially from lower tier. So you're gonna start always from the lower tier. You wanna craft a power, um, upgrade price, and then you can go, you can decide to go also for attack speed. But I recommend you to, to just stick to these two. These two platforms, maybe three, maybe attack speed. And then you wanna craft them from the way up. These three, like that. Then you go to the next stage. And remember, this is gonna um, cost you a ton of green papers to do this process, especially crafting the very last year. This is the the one that's gonna literally kill you uh, because you're crafting so many of them that you're not gonna have enough uh, green papers to do so. And that's why, for example, here I, I'm lacking, so I could potentially get more. So again, I will be um, crafting, I don't know, maybe 20 more of these ones. Here we go. Then I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna sell those 20. Again, same process as before. And then I'm gonna sell, uh, yeah, I sell 1,000 of each. Uh, yeah, around 1,000, doesn't doesn't really matter, you they do it exactly um, okay. It should be around 1,000. All right, and those with those green papers, I can craft all the remaining platforms here of attack speed. And here we go. So yes, this process costs a lot of green papers, but now what you have done is that you have got a ton of these platforms. See, I got 100 here, 87, 79. 
and, uh, and therefore what happens is that when you go in your selling and you sell your cast map you can place a lot more of those platforms now let me check if I can make this my map a little bit larger yeah here we go level 9 that should be good and um, now because I've not crusher remember crusher is better it's easier to set up a path place a base and a portal with crusher uh, rather than using flamethrower uh, base uh, sorry, the portal should be a 340% difficulty. I'm gonna place this one, should be pretty good. And then a base, remember, just a base that is able to switch. If you also have enemies walk on platforms, it's the best, but you're already gonna need to look for a base that either, in, either increases range um, or that it increases projector speed slash damage. That's what you're looking for. So I think there is a base, there was a base here. Yeah, here we go. That has. 40% more damage, that's pretty good. Experience multiplier, more money at the start, very, very good base. And now with that one, because it has um, damage, I will place a platform with more range. And that's where I'm gonna place my crusher. And then you're gonna very simply, with all those platforms that you crafted, you wanna place them up and you wanna fill the entire map. Remember, these three platforms are gonna be the ones that are gonna have the highest uh, value. So yeah, that's why you wanna place those. And then remember, you can always place more platforms because of the fact that you can gain them from the loot, you can gain them in uh, uh, from the tiles in other ways. So yeah, you can always then place the remaining ones and fill the map a little bit more. And here, projector speed, I'm gonna save three, just in case I need so. Uh, remember, place teleports. Um, yeah, it's some more map value. Remember, you want to sell your map for the highest amount of value possible. Uh, again, you can also sell barriers. They're going to be around 100 uh, cost each. Uh, some a little bit more, some a little bit less. But um, yeah, I mean, normally I place those that have more than one. So for example, see this one have two, two, two. So that's why I'm going to place them. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's up to you. If you have more time and you you can place all of them, like if you want it, you could place all of them. In my opinion, it's just a waste of time and it's going to end up like not really making that much difference in the total map price. Uh, and yeah. And then lastly, remember to place your sources. Always place first the sources that have the unique, so have just one type of source because these ones are going to give you more map value. Uh, say for example, this uh, tensor gave me 410. Um, this one gave me 455, right? That's uh, more. If I go for, I don't know, this one, see that because it's mixed, it has different sources, it becomes 201. So it's, it's lower. So always try to place first those um, sources that are unique. So only one type of resource. And then if you have any remaining spots, you wanna place the other ones. Oops. Uh, yeah, this is mixed. This is not. So, yeah. Uh, now, let me check here. How much value I get from these color sources? 168, this one is 192. So this one is actually lower than uh, these other ones that are mixed. So I'm gonna start placing the uh, mixed ones. Yeah, this one as well. Uh, let's check this one though. Yeah, 177, that's bad. This one is good. Uh, this one also is good. So, yeah, just, just, be, just remember if you got some space remaining to um, place the the ones that give you the highest value in this case i got a lot of place left so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just place all of them i think i can i can place all of them um, maybe maybe not all of them but yeah 100 uh, percent here 100 percent and I have some of 80 here. Uh, remember also to place in case you have some cores. Also cores are gonna give you some value. Okay, here's 600. 
Uh, if you have the legendary course, it's even higher value. These ones, let's see, 131. So yeah, they're all above 100. So um, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. All right, here we go. That's it. Um, so that's the map value. And yeah, let's now play. I place everything. Let's hope I got already a good way configuration for my crusher. Uh, yeah, already the first wave, a lot of enemies weren't able to sneak past, so that's not good news. But yeah, I got uh, my wave configuration bonus from those two waves, so that's better. Uh, and I should be able to get it from this one as well. Let's see. No, actually. Did I got to 4000? I don't know. Uh, no, actually. So I'm gonna need to change wave configuration. Because I got the first wave, especially, was a lot of um, um, regulars that were very close to one another. So I was struggling a lot to kill them. Yeah, here we go. That's a lot better. I got the first wave uh, bonus. I will lose some lives here, but uh, it should be it should be fine. Yeah, that's a lot better. Also, the wave configuration is different, so now it's better. I can even get some more projected speed here from the core. Uh, yeah, it's more than 3,000, so hopefully I can get it done now. Yeah, 4,000, here we go. And yeah, normally you need uh, less uh, configuration with Crusher, so it's easier. And then I can sell the cast map, go for the highest value. And boom, that's how to do it. So remember, uh, crafting, very, very important, especially of the platforms. Uh, but because it's a lot of uh, green papers involved, Remember to craft the most available ones. So one, two, and maybe the third one. So yeah, that's it, guys. So with these green papers, uh, sorry, with these tickets, now I can get one more level here of frequency. So I got six three, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see ya. Bye bye.